everyone welcome back so today I wanted to film a sunscreen review video for you um, to talk about some of the ones that I've really been liking then I realized that my sunscreen stick that I really like from isn't trees probably at my apartment still so I'm going to get that one along with some of my other makeup products I left there and then we can start going through all my favorite sunscreens but first food <laughs> not find my isn't tree sunscreen stick so that will have to be tbd but i wanted to show you all my current favorite sunscreens that i've been using for the past couple of months i have a little cart on the side where i keep all my sunscreen so i'm going to go through about maybe 15 of them that i'm currently using and this is going to help gear up for when you're going to the beach or somewhere really hot humid and you don't want everything to melt off you still want to stay protected. I guess we can start with the one that I'm wearing today, which is the Melon and Goats Mineral SPF. I really like this one because it has a banana milk kind of texture. So it's not going to have a white cast, even though it's a mineral sunscreen. And when you blend it out, it's super moisturizing and it leaves you a tiny bit of a glow. And it doesn't feel chunky or cakey and this i think is one of my current favorites actually i think it might help to break it up into categories so i'm gonna do drugstore and like at sephora or credo i have one that's super luxe but it does have some skincare benefits in it too so i'm gonna show that one at the end i'm gonna start with the affordable options first one i mentioned this a lot this is the pipette baby sunscreen but of course, anyone can use it. It's also a mineral-based sunscreen. Looks like this. I would definitely use this one for my body. You get four ounces for the full size for $15 and there's no white cast and it's super moisturizing. This one by now I just keep to show in the videos, but it's pretty much empty. This is the Hero Cosmetics Force Shield one. It comes out in a green tint like this. And it kind of cancels out your redness. There's not much of a white cast, but you do have to kind of massage it in because of that green tint. But I really like that one for acne prone skin too. This is my mom's favorite sunscreen and my original OG favorite. It's the Coco Kine Daily SPF. I have two of these. I think I used this one. I think it's $25 and you're getting 1.7 fluid ounces. This is good if you have dry skin. It has a really nice lotion like texture and when you hydrate your skin properly underneath you get the best glowy base ever after you apply this. So that's why I've used so many tubes. My mom still really likes this one for every day. Another reason why my mom likes it especially is because she has sensitive eyes and even some of the mineral sunscreens that I really like, something about the formulation might irritate her eyes and the Coco Kind one doesn't. So if you have sensitive eyes, that also is something to keep in mind. This one is a body sunscreen. It's the Oh My Bod from Everyday Humans. It's SPF 50. I like this one because it's really moisturizing. It has hyaluronic acid, green tea, and cucumber in it. The only little downside is that it's a chemical sunscreen. I've been trying to stay more towards mineral sunscreens. This one is really nice. It's hard to resist. My mom and sister really like it. 
it's really easy to apply because it's so moisturizing and there's no white cast and it has a pleasant smell that's not like overly fragrant I really like this one but it's chemical I know I don't have my isn't tree sunstick but a couple months ago I got the CeraVe sunstick this one is pretty small it's like the size of my palm it's SPF 50 and it's 100% mineral it's zinc based and I'm not too sure how to feel about this one yet because on one hand I like that it's mineral based and it's quite matte like my isn't tree one but because it's mineral based you do get like a slight tinge of a white cast it's not too bad like I would definitely bring this on vacation because it's so small and easy to throw in your bag but I think if you have a deeper skin tone it might be a little bit more of a hassle to rub it in because for the other ones you just like swipe and go but this one you might have to like pat it in a little bit and that kind of I mean, when you have dirty hands, you don't want to do that. I don't know. I like it. I think it's under $15, which is also a major plus. Hmm. I'm still a little bit on the fence for that one because I haven't gotten to use it a lot. That is all for the drugstore more affordable category. Now I'm going to move into more of the category where you get like at Sephora or Credo. For the majority of this year, my favorite sunscreen has been the Kinship self-reflect sunscreen. I have a giant one for my body. I really like the self-reflect rose one. I basically used it all and then I have another original. They recently released a sport version which is a little higher of an SPF. I think it's like SPF 50. I really want to try that one because I think that one would be good especially if you're doing a lot of water sports, if you're swimming, if you're at the beach a lot and you're sweating, that one is good because it's more water resistant. But I have been using this one for every day and I like it because it has a little peach tint to it. So it's not going to do any crazy color correcting, but it's just going to kind of tone up your skin, even out your skin tone and give you a nice base without you using like foundation or concealer. It might be slightly too heavy for oily skin types in the summer, but in the winter time, I totally think that you can use it. It's one of my favorites. I've been using it for like over eight months probably. It's really, it's a good sunscreen. This one is another tinted one. This is from Avene. The only problem with this one is the tint is a little bit orange. Let me show you. See, it's pretty oompa loompa. Because I have relatively fair skin, I would have to mix this with something else to make it work. And that kind of defeats the purpose of like a tinted sunscreen. But if you are a medium skin tone um, to medium dark skin tone, this would be... I think a good match for you. I really love the formula. It doesn't pill and it really reminds me of the La Roche Posay one, but that one can sometimes pill. This one I haven't found that it does that. See, I'm still rubbing and there's nothing coming off. The tint is pretty nice and it leaves you a nice glowy base, but it's not heavy. Yeah, it's really good for summertime. I'm sad they only have one universal shade, not for fair skin tones or deep skin tones, but if you're medium, this would be a really good option. Speaking of La Roche Posay, this is another one that I want to mention. They recently came out with it. It's the Amphelios Tinted Mineral. I really, really like this one. The shade is right on point for my skin tone. It depends which moisturizer I use, but this one pills along my hairline. And that's such a bummer. This is my current favorite, like the one that I am using every day for since it launched this is the summer fridays shade drops this is pretty much my dream skincare wrapped into one spf this is a mineral milk sunscreen you know what that means it is spf 30 and it literally is a milk in sunscreen form the texture is so nice and kind of watery, milky, kind of that hybrid. It does not leave a white cast. It doesn't pill against my hairline. It leaves such a nice glow to the skin. 
it is so good it is so good when you use it it's a really nice experience it doesn't have any scent it's just so nice it's silky but not too matte not overly greasy it has the perfect texture and yeah my credit card will be um funding many of these to come in the future another one that i really like for dry skin is the josie marin get even sun milk this one was my favorite before the summer fridays one launched I still really like it. It comes in a pump, which I also like. Sometimes you don't want to like get messy with um, like a squeezy tube. This one has more of the banana milk texture, kind of like the Malin and Goats one that I showed earlier. It has a tropical kind of citrus scent, which I really enjoy, and it's ultra moisturizing. So if you're looking for kind of a dual product in the summer to replace your moisturizer and sunscreen you could definitely go in and use the sun milk and not use moisturizer and it would be totally fine i really really like these like sunscreen milks yes yes a few others to go i emptied this one a while ago this is the pharmacy green defense I like this one, it's mineral based, but I think given the sunscreens that have recently launched, like the sun milks, they kind of beat out mineral formulations like these. Although I have nothing against this one, it's still really good. Yeah, I used it all. It's still a good option. I just think that if you're spending this much on a sunscreen, you can get a better formula with the other ones. Ah, sorry pharmacy. I still really like their cleansing balm though. It's superior. I have two dropper sunscreens. One is the Murad environmental sunscreen. I know this is a recent cult favorite of a lot of people. I think the really unique thing about this one is that it's a serum and it's also 100% mineral which is pretty hard to find because as you know mineral sunscreens are a little bit thicker, a little bit maybe harder to blend in, which you know a lot of recent formulas have proved that wrong obviously. But this one has such a unique texture. It literally is like a serum. It's a little bit more slippery, has a more kind of oily slip to it, which I don't mind because I have dry skin and also sensitive skin. So this one is super moisturizing. However, in the summertime, I don't think I would gravitate towards this one just because it is a little bit more heavy duty in the moisture content that it gives your skin. But in the winter, it would be really good. And then the other one is the Zitstika Mega Shade. I liked this one for so long. The texture is really nice. It is like a hybrid chemical mineral formulation which again, I'm trying not to use so many chemical sunscreens. But this one, literally five seconds, not even, blends into your skin. It leaves you a really dewy finish. I don't think this would be the best for oily skin because it is a little bit more heavy, more hydrating. These two are bonuses. They're more of a tinted sunscreen. They're both from Ilia. This one is the Ilia Super Serum Drops. It's a skin tint and it's SPF 40. In the beginning, I really did not like this one because I was using it with my fingers, but the key is to use it with a very wet sponge. You get the sponge, you soak it up, and then you squeeze all the water out, and it creates such like a full coverage yet natural, very dewy finish. Again, maybe for oily skin types, it wouldn't be the best, but if you have dry skin like me, so good. I would definitely wear this in the summertime too if I had like an event to go to at night and didn't want to wear a heavy duty real foundation, I would definitely use this one. But in the daytime, something that all skin types could use is their C Beyond Triple Serum. This is SPF 40, which I like. I think this shade is also a little bit too dark for me. I have to get the lighter shade, but it does come in three different shades, which I think it's pretty good and it's sheer enough that you can pretty much pick one shade and it'll blend into your skin. You're getting skin benefits like niacinamide, you're getting vitamin C, and you're getting sun protection. It's pricey but you're getting three in one. The last one I want to mention is not one that I've heard a lot of people talk about. It's the Le Prunier 
sunscreen. It's SPF 31. And what's special about it is that it has their signature plum beauty oil in it. It comes out on the milkier white side. It is a tinted sunscreen. Zinc based, not nano, which is good. You usually don't want nanoparticles in your skincare products. I don't know how I would justify this purchase, but just putting it out there is a nice sunscreen if you have dry to normal to combo skin. But yeah, those are all the sunscreens that are in my frequent rotation right now. Um, oh, let me give you my favorites. Out of the tinted sunscreens, I would say the La Roche Posay one is my favorite, even though it pills on me. I refuse to stop using this one until it works. I just put a little bit of the Youth to the People Goji Oil on my face. Just a light layer, pat it in, and then this one goes on pretty smoothly. I just like the feel and the tint. For a regular sunscreen, I have to give it to the Summer Fridays one. It's going to be pretty hard for future sunscreens to top this formulation. It's just a dream in a sunscreen. Perfect balance of everything. They did such a great job on this launch. Anyway, that's the end of this review. I hope it was helpful. If you have any more specific questions, please leave them in the comments below. I kind of skipped through them because I didn't want to make the video too long, but I hope it was helpful in finding some sunscreens for the summer. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!